Welcome. Today we're gonna conduct experiment 3.1 on factors that influence the pulse rate. The aim of this experiment is to study the factors that influence the pulse rate. We're gonna talk about how does the intensity of a physical activity influence the pulse rate. In hypothesis of this experiment it's the more vigorous a physical activity, the higher the pulse rate. The apparatus needed in this experiment is a watch. Now that we have already prepared for the apparatus, it's time for us to proceed with the procedures. First we need to conduct the first type of activity which is resting, such as reading book. Then, locate your pulse as shown in the video. Then count and record the number of pulses over a 10 seconds period and calculate the pulse rate and number of pulses per minute. And finally, repeat the steps after carrying out each of the following types of activities over a period of 5 minutes which is A. Walking slowly and B. Running From the video above, we can form a table. Here is the results. Got that number of pulses over a period of 10 seconds after conduct the first activity which is resting is 14, while walking slowly is 18 and running is 24. Meanwhile the pulse rate after conduct the activities is 85 for resting, 90 for walking slowly, and 149 for running. Questions time. How does the type of activity influence the pulse rate? The more active the activity, the higher the pulse rate. How is the increase in pulse rate while carrying out vigorous activities related to the rate of oxygen intake and release of carbon dioxide? The rate of intake of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide by body cells increases while carrying out active activity. This causes the heart to beat more frequently and increases the pulse rate to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide more efficiently. Conclusion. Is the hypothesis accepted? Yes. What's the conclusion of this experiment? Higher intensity of a physical activity can cause a higher pulse rate because heart need to beat more frequently to transport the oxygen and carbon dioxide more efficiently. That's all. Thanks for watching and listening.